Okay, now that we've created our truth table, we need to k-map each one of these segments to get the simplified circuit. So we're going to k-map A first. So segment A, and what's going to turn it on in each one of these states. Alright, so the k-map, remember our mapping down here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's associated over here with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Alright? So we're going to look at segment A first. So I'm going to denote that here with the segment A. This is segment A. Over here, located in 0 and 1, we have 0, 0. So I'm going to write 0, 0 here. In 2 and 3, we have 1, 0. This is the part where you can't make your mistake in K mapping. In segment A, 4 and 5 have 1, 1, but note 4 and 5 are at the bottom of the table here. So 1, 1 goes there. Then we have 6 and 7. That's located here. That's 0 and 0. So that's how everything transcribes into K map. Now remember when we're K mapping, we're looking for groupings of 1s. Well, this guy's got to sit solo. There are no other 1s around. And we have a grouping here of two ones together. Alright, so segment A ends up becoming, right here we have not A, B, and not C. So we have A bar, B, C bar, or down here, we don't care if it is C bar or C, but we do care that it is A and B bar. Okay, so if remember from k-mapping, we get a 1 whether it's C bar or C, but it has to be A, B bar. So this is our segment A. This is our final circuit for it. So that's what we're going to draw up, and this is the output that's going to go into segment A on our seven-segment display when we breadboard this up. Let's take a look at the next segment here. We have segment B. Segment B is located right here. Okay, so let's k-map segment B and see if we can simplify it down. So once again, in 0, 0, goes into 0, 1 here. So this is 0, 0. And then 2 and 3 gets a 1 and a 0. Okay, once again, be careful on 4 and 5. 4 and 5 are 0 and 1, and they go down here. And 6 and 7 get 0 and 0. Alright, doesn't look like we have anything that's going to be nice and short and simple here. This guy's a solo 1, this guy's a solo 1. So segment B, okay, is going to be A bar B C bar, which we have over here, or A B bar These guys are solo. There's really no simplifying segment B down. Okay, but what does come in handy is if we take a look up here. Notice that segment B is right here. And look at segment C. They both have a 0 and a 0 here, a 0 and a 0 here, a 1 and a 1, a 0 and a 0, a 0 and a 0, a 1 and a 1, a 0 and a 0, and a 0 and a 0. Segment B, for, your, for this particular circuit, is the exact same as segment C. So I can say that this is the output for circuit B and for circuit C. That saves us a lot of time breadboarding. So both of these would go into the inputs on our seven segment display. So now I don't have to even K map C. C is done. Let's take a look at D now. Okay, D is open over here. So now that B and C are the same, I'll mark that on here, those are the same, we're going to go ahead and do D. Alright, so when we have D, we're going to look at the first two here, so this is going to be 0 and 1. Next, over here we have 1 and 0. Now be careful on 4 and 5 here. 
This is 1 and 1, and it has to go down here. And then we have 6 and 7. 6 is here, 0, 1. So this gets us a 0 and a 1. All right, now we have to circle our simplified circuits. This guy doesn't have anyone around him, so this one will be solo again. All right, we compare these two. We compare these two. And remember, I can loop this way. So I have this guy to compare with this one. I can use this one multiple times when I'm k-mapping. So these guys pair together as well. All right, so let's take a look at what D is going to look like. Let's look at this first one right here. This guy is solo, so this is going to be A bar B e, C bar. Or we're going to do this one right here, this horizontal one. Okay, it doesn't matter what C or C bar is, but it does matter here what A B bar is. Or we have this vertical one here that's in red. Okay, it has to be C. So it doesn't matter if it's B or B bar, and it does matter that it's A. So we're going to have A, okay, and C. Or lastly, the one that wraps here has to be C, but we don't care if it's A or A bar. It has to be B bar. So this is going to be B bar C.